So if you own an 09 to 18 Ram 1500 and you want to make your truck feel a hell of a lot faster and more responsive, but you don't actually want to install any mods of any kind, you don't want to bother with turning any wrenches whatsoever, then you should be checking out this nifty little device. This is the Bluetooth Pedal Commander Throttle Response Controller. This is a really cool little system because basically what it does is, is it removes the lag from your throttle entirely. Now you may or may not notice it, but basically your truck runs off of what's called drive-by wire. Days of old, you used to press the pedal, a cable would open the valve, and then air and fuel would go into the engine no delay whatsoever. Nowadays, when you press the pedal, all you're doing is actually pressing a button, so to speak. You're actually sending an electrical signal to the computer in your truck, and your truck has to do some calculations before it actually opens your throttle body and does all that crazy stuff with timing and fuel and air. There is a big delay in that process compared to how little of a delay there is when you actually install this device. This actually removes the delay entirely. What's nice about that is it doesn't make any modifications to the ECU. It basically helps with doing those calculations and boosting that signal so you can actually install this in line with any other mods and you actually can also tune your truck even with the pedal commander installed. Now installing this is very easy. All you got to do is plug it into the throttle position sensor underneath the steering column. There's no tools required whatsoever. It honestly will probably take you longer to get it out of the box and stare at it for a few minutes than it will to get it set up. There are actually 36 levels of sensitivity on this device and there's even an economy mode so you will get an increase in MPGs as long as you're not mashing on the gas pedal. Now, I know that $300 might sound a little pricey for a device this small, but trust me, it does make a huge difference, and even the customer reviews will speak to that. So, if you wanna make your truck feel a lot faster, again, you don't wanna install any mods, you don't wanna mess with anything electronically or physically, this is definitely a good investment. It's a very simple one out of three wrenches on my difficulty meter. I can't even really call it an install. It'll honestly probably take you longer to get it out of the box, maybe take us five or 10 minutes, so let me go ahead and show you guys how this is done. All right, so like I said, installing the Pedal Commander is really easy. Honestly, you'll probably spend more time figuring out where you want to mount it and make sure that it looks clean. If you wanna make sure that the cabling is hidden, go ahead and thread it just underneath the steering column behind the plastic guard here. I'll show you guys how to do that because it's a little bit of a squeeze. All right, the next step is plugging in the pedal commander. First thing you gotta do, unplug the cable for your throttle position sensor. Once you've done that, take the skinny end of the pedal commander and plug it into the wiring harness. All right, once you got the pedal commander plugged into the wiring harness, go ahead and take the red tab plug on the pedal commander, hook it back up to your throttle. All right, once you got the pedal commander plugged in, you wanna make sure you use the zip ties to secure any extra cabling underneath there. You don't want that getting hung up on your gas pedal. Obviously, that could be a bad thing. Now, once you got that done, you can actually secure it to the dash using the double-sided adhesive and these hook and loop fasteners here. I'm actually gonna put mine just above the ignition right here. That'll completely conceal all the cabling underneath the steering column. All right, so once you have the pedal commander plugged in, you can turn your key to the accessory position or you can just turn your truck on. And by default, the pedal commander is gonna go to the city setting. City is gonna be the least improvement in throttle response, or I should say the most minor improvement in throttle response. There are three settings for throttle response sensitivity, city, sport, and sport plus. Now, obviously you're gonna to wanna to go all the way. So if you wanna switch between the three modes, go ahead and hit the little star button. That's gonna bring you to Sport Plus. Now, once you're in any of the three modes, you can change the sensitivity of that mode by pressing the plus and minus buttons right here. Now, by default, each setting is gonna be at its neutral sensitivity. If you wanna make it less sensitive, hit the minus button. You can see we got these little red lights here down below. You can go from zero to negative four. If you wanna make it more sensitive, again, starting at neutral, go ahead and hit the positive button. You can see the little green light showing up right here, all the way to positive four. Now again, obviously you're gonna to wanna to go to the highest setting just for fun, so again, hit the button three times to support plus. Hit the plus sign here four times to get to green. 
that's going to be the absolute most sensitive setting. Now, if you want to do the economy setting, it's pretty straightforward. All you got to do is hold the start button a few seconds, and it's going to switch to economy by default. That's really all there is to using the pedal commander. If you wanted to use the Bluetooth settings again, all you gotta do is download the app on the App Store. So as you can see, a very straightforward install. All you're doing is plugging this thing into your pedal and shoving it somewhere on your dash. If you wanted to get the Bluetooth functionality, simply go to the Apple or Android store and type in Pedal Commander. You'll easily find your way. Other than that, that wraps up my quick little review and install of the Pedal Commander Bluetooth throttle response controller fitting your 09 to 18 Ram 1500. I'm Travis, thanks for watching, and for all things Ram, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.